My name is Raven Morland Austin and I am 56 years old. I live in Farnham on a Sandy Hill estate. I had a rare blood disease. I only weighed two and a half pound when I was born. I've got something called scoliosis of the spine, totally deaf in one ear. I've got stigmatism of the eyes and they reckon it left me slightly mentally handicapped. They told my parents I wouldn't be able to live for more than a year and if I did, I may never see her walk or talk. If I'm at 56, I can just about walk, talk too much. And that's it, yeah. I'll play school, Henley on Thames. But it was a school for kids that um, had sort of um, problems, you know, um, remedial problems, kids with asthma, eczema, epilepsy, diabetes. Some kids had deformities, that sort of thing. You know, I, I grew up, left boarding school with them, with the attitude of you'll never be able to work in your life, you'll never live on your own in your life. So they discouraged me from taking any qualifications, doing any, um, you know, like apprenticeships or whatever. Okay, go on, you eat that. I'm going to have my cup of tea. I was born totally deaf in one ear. So I just used to play by ear. So when they tried to give me tests to read music, I'd be going, yeah, that's C, that's B, whatever. And then it's suddenly realized I couldn't read music. Just taught myself to play with But in general music, I'm into Mike Oldfield, Stevie Wonder. Yeah, there's not a lot of music that I don't like, except for punk. I used to hate punk, couldn't understand it, couldn't understand what the reason for it, for it was or anything. Apart from the busking, the only thing I do at the moment is some voluntary work with Food Bank, which I've been doing for six years. The guy that was, well, the past or whatever, just came up and said, you know, they're doing this thing called Food Bank. They thought it might be really something that would um, suit me. People of all sorts coming in with all sorts of things. Sometimes there's people with benefit problems. Sometimes people trying to um, find, find out if they can get their benefits sorted out. And, you know, we give them food. And um, it's nice to know that they've come in feeling a bit down one minute and walking out feeling that they've, they're a lot happier. And, you know, it's good for us to to know that we've achieved something by helping somebody out. So it's all good. To make ends meet, I do a fair bit of busking in fame. Music's my life. I've loved music since I was about three years old and I learned to play the accordion at boarding school when I was 12, 13 and I've been playing on and off ever since. I started busking in Aldershot, um, feels like about a thousand years ago. Um, I suppose 25 years ago, maybe. Um, there again, it was just lack of money and needing, you know, needed things like extra milk and coffee and tea and whatever. Money lasted a lot longer. Things were cheaper than they are now. So, it, you know, um, you didn't need to, to be out for as long. And then I had somebody about a month ago came up saying, are you still here? And I thought she meant, you know, for most of here, been here for a couple of hours. And it turned out she said, um, I've known, I was three years old when my mum, mum and I used to come along here and put money in your thing. And she's turned up all these years later and still, I'm still there. So it does put perspective on things, make you feel a bit old. <laughs>